and I highlighted that and it's in the photo so they were able to go back and look at each photo and after they reviewed it, they say, yes, we see that here. Yes, we see that here to confirm and to verify that what I was telling them was exactly what the guests really wanted. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Kev B. I'm back, man. Thank you for tuning into this series on the Turo app and how does it work. Definitely like, of course, comment let me know what you want to see next subscribe to the channel man and definitely turn on that notification bell so you can catch each and every one of these videos when i drop them peace conversations that me and this guest had that he wanted to extend the trip for another day and they were able to now go in on their end and extend it granted they kept trying him to make sure i mean when i say trying trying to call him and get in contact with him to make sure that this is indeed what he wanted to do and they had everything set and they tried again to call him right before they pushed it through luckily i guess he was close enough to shore and he said yes this is what i want to do they said okay sir they verified it and boom he was able to extend the trip for another day so he didn't get a late fee or anything outside of that or anything for that matter but the reason why i brought this up was because i wanted you guys to understand the importance of messaging in the Turo app because if it's in the app Turo's first gonna always check the messages that you had first with the guest to see if there's any indication or correlation with what you're saying that the ghost guest said just so they can have verification on their end we didn't have that so in this case we use I use photos and I screenshotted every conversation with him it had his phone number at the top of the text so I made sure I highlighted that you know, on iPhone, it tells you the number of the person that you're chatting with. And I highlighted that and it's in the photo. So they were able to go back and look at each photo. And after they reviewed it, they say, yes, we see that here. Yes, we see that here to confirm and to verify that what I was telling them was exactly what the guests really wanted. Now, in other cases, you know, there could be a myriad of reasons or other cases that could come up where this could be a, a useful scenario. But for this particular example, in this particular trip that I had, it worked out perfectly for me. They still were able to get in contact with the guests, but had they weren't able to, they already had the verification through the text messages that we had and I posted into the uh, chat. It would they, they would prefer that it be through the Turo chat because, you know, anybody could post anything and screenshot anything. You know, they always, Turo's always thinking about liabilities. So they're thinking about that on their end. But the next best thing, second best thing, if you don't have the chat, would be to screenshot the photos and to post them so that so they can be reviewed for everyone to see. Um, and that's it, man. So make sure when you're messaging and your guests, if they call you, they want to talk to you, I always let them know, not a problem if you need to call me. If there's any emergency, there's not a problem. I'm not upset with you messaging me. It's not a problem if you want to message me here. But I would just prefer... That's the, I always use the language. I don't mind you calling me or messaging me however you feel. I would just prefer that we keep all of our messaging through the Turo app just so that we both have a record of it. And I use the excuse of I get a lot of text messages a day. I'm a business owner. So I don't want there to be a situation where you're really trying to get in contact with me through the text and I'm unable to answer you because it may get buried under a bunch of text messages that I've received right after yours. And guests are usually pretty understanding and they have no problem doing that, man. So that's my video for the day. I hope you guys learned something from this and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace. As long as you believe you can't make it, you won't make it. As long as you believe that you can do it, you will do it.